Well, let's go to Louisa Muller. She's live at the Fairmont Copley Hotel where opponents of question two have been hoping to vote this down. And Louisa, it looks like they're getting their way. Well, that's right, David, and they've been celebrating for about the last 30 minutes after it was officially called that voters in the state of Massachusetts did not want to lift the cap on charter schools. Now, what this initiative would have done is it would have allowed 12 additional charter schools in Massachusetts every year or allowed increased enrollment in existing charter schools. There were uh, notable supporters, such as Governor Charlie Baker, who said this is, would have been a big thing for school choice. Uh, but we also know that opponents have said this would have taken funding away from traditional public schools. You can see and hear them celebrating here just a short time ago. I also spoke with a victorious teacher here who said that this is what we need to talk about now. Now that no on two is the way the state has turned, we need to talk about where that funding should go and how it can help the neediest students in Massachusetts. Take a listen. It's a great victory. It's a victory for the students. It's a victory for education. It's a victory for the possibility of, of turning schools around rather than abandoning them. It was a very hard-fought fight here. Uh, actually, the most expensive ballot initiative in the country. But now, as you heard it, the voters of Massachusetts do not want to increase the number of charter schools right now. Uh, many teachers here calling this a victory for democracy and for labor. For now, we're live in Boston. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.